We take it through during the uh, nighttime hours to 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will be here tomorrow morning for News 10 this morning, and she most likely will not be showing us snow in the immediate area. But take a look just out here to the west and watch what happens as we get into about midday. Here's noon tomorrow. The snow will have started for those of you watching in Illinois and very possibly will start to edge into the Indiana Illinois border right across the line here into Vigo County and perhaps down into Crawford over into Sullivan County. And what could happen is this could start off as kind of a mix of a sleet and ice and freezing rain, especially farther to the south. And then we get into the day tomorrow into tomorrow evening by around this time tomorrow night. Looks like just everybody is going to be getting snow and at times the snow could be heavy and it could have a gusty wind at times. And so this is six o'clock tomorrow night. We go through the overnight hours, a very good chance of snow through the overnight hours. This is midnight tomorrow night, and then we get into the morning hours on Wednesday and still the possibility of snow. I think it probably will be around midday or so on Wednesday before we finally get a chance to get some of the snow out of here. And we could even have some lingering snow showers into the early evening hours on Wednesday. So this is the way things are shaping up. Now, as far as overall uh, accumulation, what we're looking at is right along the I-70 uh, corridor here, anywhere from four to seven inches of snow. That's actual snow, plus a mix of precipitation could fall to begin with, and that would be sleet or freezing rain. A little better chance of sleet and freezing rain, and maybe some ice farther to the south, but a little less as far as overall accumulation, three to five inches, and farther to the north, up through Mattoon, Paris, Rockville, and farther to the north, as much as seven inches of snow, not out of the question. And so we're looking at a weather system that probably is not going to be quite as bad as the one we had last time. But still, it's one to be dealt with and travel from tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night into the middle part of the day on Wednesday. It's probably not the best idea. 29 degrees right now. I have a wind out of the east. This is an indication that something's coming because the wind has shifted from the north and now it's coming out of the east northeast. And once again, we're looking at several inches of accumulation. We'll continue to track this, but I think that's a pretty good uh, estimate of what we can expect. Partly cloudy, a light breeze tonight. Everything's peaceful and calm tonight. 15 for the overnight low. Snow, sleet, and freezing rain about midday tomorrow, high of 29. And then for tomorrow night, snow likely, and maybe a wintry mix farther to the south. An overnight low tomorrow night down to about 21 degrees. Some lingering snow into Wednesday. I think it'll be the middle part of the day on Wednesday before the snow gets out of here. And then cold air surges in, so an overnight low on Wednesday night down to about 1. A high on Thursday of 13. Friday up to 18 degrees, but another round of snow on Saturday and Sunday. So this winter continues. Once again, several inches of snow and Storm Team 10 is continuing to track this. And we're on top of it. I talk with Lindsay a few times a day. Joseph Dames is in the loop. We're going to be here. We have team coverage and we'll keep everybody posted about closings and things like that. Right now, we don't have any information about closings or delays.